What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. First things first, Mike. What Gatorade is that? <laughs> Frost Glacier Freeze. Awesome. Now that we've got Gatorade news out of the way. Well, there goes my last golden feather, and I needed that for Mad Monster, so. What did we do in the last episode? Things. Things. Uh, oh, we finished Gobies. Okay, on to new business. On to old business. On, on to not Gatorade. Oh. Frost Glacier Freeze. What an awesome name! <sighs> I fucking love Gatorade names. We. What, what did you want to talk about? Something about the textures? Oh, right there. All the number textures are the same textures as the eggs. But I, it just confused me. Is why why is everything the egg texture and not its own texture? Like the gold feathers should be, like the numbers should be something along the lines of that texture. And yada yada yada. Bitch bitch moan moan. Um, maybe the eggs are secretly the most important thing in the game. Pretty important. Eggs are good for, for bear and bird diets. That's fucked up. Never mind. Yeah. I, for some reason, I was thinking that Kazooie eats the eggs at some point. She's fucking eating her young. I actually, uh, Banjo, Banjo Tooie, there's something known as a clockwork egg. You can only hold, I think, one or two of them on you at a time, but pretty much they are, uh... They're the equivalent of just little robots that you poop out. And what they the run. fuck? What? Yeah. what? Yeah, little robots that explode. It's amazing. Pooping robots? Not pooping robots. No, I but you're pooping robots. Did I open Mad Monster Mansion last time? I don't think so. About to find out. Oh, God. Don't fucking fall off! I need those extra lives, damn it. It's over there, I, or something. Maybe. I thought I thought the screen started to fade out. No, no, I go over there for something with the pumpkin. Something with the pumpkin? Pumpkin. Oh, it's probably um for the jiggy you get from the Gruntilda switch. I don't know. I did not open it, and I forgot where the opening is, so I'm just gonna go over here. Do you go remember it, Mad Monster? Oh, I remember. I actually recently watched the, the, the thing of it just to make sure that I... Ray. I really don't remember where this opening is though. It's somewhere, some somewhere that it's important. Wait, what op what opening are you looking for? The opening the mad monster, but I think I have to. Go oh, over. I have to go elsewhere. Is it inside the mansion over there in the distance? I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, yes, this is it. I see opening the mad monster or something. That goes somewhere else. Yeah, or a bunch of feathers. You like feathers so much. Why don't you fucking marry the feathers? Fine. Don't okay. marry him. Don't even pick him up. Just ignore him. Leave him on the fucking corner like prostitutes. That's what they are. Feathery prostitutes. In their feather beds. They'll tickle your fancy for whatever... For price, whatever... For fancy. whatever price you're willing to pay. They're not very good hookers. Yeah. I will give you a penny for... They're bad I will at, give you a penny for a handy. They're bad... <laughs> they're bad at negotiating. <laughs> That's why they dropped out of business school and became hookers. Uh, Yes. What hooker do you know went to business school, Dave? What hooker do you know? Huh. Aside. Well played. Well play. I met many a fine hooker in Vegas. That's Vegas, and you met them. You, you weren't. I don't remember what this is. I learned all of their life stories as I passed by them every twenty feet. <laughs> Tell me, why are you a hooker, ma'am? Walk with me, talk with me. <laughs> Come on, girl. I wanna know. How has this become your vocation? <laughs> How has you vocationary this <laughs> area? <laughs> How has you become- Shakespeare, everyone. <laughs> How has thou become in this predicament of the vocation of hookery? <laughs> Ah, I'm just talking shit. How hast thou become a maiden of the night? <laughs> a night mistress of sorts. <laughs> One most promiscuous. For the for the, for a ducat or two. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a pretty high-priced uh, hooker, I believe. I'm pretty sure ducats are worth a lot. <laughs> I was watching Game of Thrones recently. Oh, you watch Game of Thrones? Or not, not Game of Thrones. Fuck! I do watch Game of Thrones. Woo! Right? Wait a minute. Is that it? Is it is that Rusty Bucket? I don't know. I think that's I think that's it. I've managed to uh, find uh, it. 
Now you. we just have to beat it. No, now I have to get to it. Yeah, that's true. Can't beat it until I get. It <laughs> can't be. It's a penis joke, get, get it? Get yourself an egg and beat it. No, that's Mad Monster. <gasps> Good job, you found the level. Oh, it looks like there's a little smiley face on that moon. Does it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on. Look, look, you see the smiley face? It's a man on the moon, stupid. Don't you know about <laughs> it's a him? man on the moon. That, that's a joke. Or, I mean, I don't know if it's actually a joke, but whatever. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. You're stupid. Stop making fun of me. Stop it. Yeah. And there goes. There goes one. There goes like half Suddenly of our audience. Suddenly we're Carlos Mencia. There goes half of our audience. You guys are fucking offensive. Are you calling half of our audience retarded? <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm saying. Honestly, I could see retards being like, "Oh, that's funny, ha ha ha!" I can take a joke, but I'm talking about I the you asshole. Were gonna say, I can see retards going, "Hey, these guys, they, I relate to them. <laughs> They're like me." <laughs> oh, that's not right. We shouldn't be doing that. I was making fun of us. Oh, we are pretty dumb. Well, I am. Speak for yourself. I am, and you. <laughs> Speaking for both of us. Yeah. So we, you found the entrance to Mad Monster and then it immediately left. Do I keep calling it fucking Monster? I don't know. I'm not I think I have it. a speech impediment. 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 I have a speech. My mouth impediment. is full of rocks. You have a speech entitlement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get cover my handouts. Is oh, oh, that's a that's a sore topic right now, girl. <laughs> you could say, uh, you could say it's uh, pissing people off an extra two percent. <laughs> Who who's it pissing off? The fifty dollars it's missing out of my goddamn paycheck. Oh, you're a poor sport. Uh, this is when it pays to be fucking poor as shit and getting paid under the table. Uh, that way I don't lose fifty dollars. No, I, I mean there's an extra fifty dollars missing or something. I don't know. Man, <laughs> fifty dollars. Welcome to Mad Monster Mansion, everybody. <laughs> Not that does that. What are you? Did you exit the fucking level? <laughs> yeah. You gotta hold your stick forwards. Things can happen while you drink your fucking blue Gatorade. Frost. Just get get a nudge in your stick a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta nudge the stick, you know. <laughs> you gotta get it going a little bit. Play with the dick. What? Why would I say such disgusting, perverted things? Oh man, I'm thinking about priapism again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of fucked up person just goes? Oh, wait, I think this. No, I th it's in a different room. It's um the thing I was talking about uh, a few episodes ago. It's it one is. of the paintings in here. I yeah. don't remember which one. Um, did it just burst out of the painting and fall the fuck apart? Because I hit it. Oh, I didn't even see you hit it. I went. Or get that go that What the fuck? I can't. I have to be pumpkin to get it. Oh really? Yeah. Do you know anything about it? Seemed like you could fit. Is that a flight pad? <laughs> you mean path. Flight pad. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Eat gum, go, gum. <laughs> Ah! Trying to hit you with a bad attack. Fucking crap. skeleton, why are you even here? Why do you even. You're supposed <laughs> to be dead. You don't have to shit. Why do you need to be in this tiny, dilapidated room that only has a toilet? Why do you need to be in a toilet? What'd it do? <laughs> the, what does the toilet do? Oh no. The toilet makes my poop go away. Fucking stupid thing. I'll kill you. 
with my rat tap rat. It's like eight health. It's not enough. It's how I feel about all of my money. It's not enough. <laughs> the bird's about to take your money. The bird's like Obama. Damn it, Obama. Obama! I'll get you next time, Obama. It's fucking Secret Service showing up at my house. <laughs> I don't know where you live yet. I'm gonna have to put you on the terror watch. I'm pretty sure that the government knows my address. Nah, I don't know your address. That one, that is um in that painting. Yeah, that yeah. you ruined. That is Captain Black Eye, and uh, a few episodes ago, I mistakenly said that you actually meet Captain Black Eye here. You meet the character himself in Banjo Tooie. The little fun fact I had about him was that, you know, uh, Banjo Kazooie was originally gonna be, or not originally gonna be, the the code name for it was Project Dream. I think it was gonna be like a Super Nintendo game, but eventually they like this. That would be amazing if you could make a no. Super Nintendo game like this. No, I think it was gonna be like a 2D game, but it changed a ton over the course of development. It wound up on the N64. It originally starred a human boy, and that pirate was the main villain of Project Dream. When you talk to him in Banjo-Tooie, he has a bunch of lines of dialogue about how he used to have a dream, Project Dream. Ah. But that about being in a, uh, a fine game. Oh. And a bear stole his glory. I remember. Yeah, so he eventually was replaced by Gruntilda as the main villain. And Banjo and Kazooie eventually replaced the human kid as the main characters. Yeah, I remember, like... Because what I remember about Banjo-Tooie when you meet him is, like, not only is he whining, but you, you pretty much, you get a jiggy from him because you're pretty much, uh... I don't know, I think I think it's like salt water or something that you give him, but it's like, it's like supposed to be alcohol, I guess. I don't know, but it's like... yeah. I don't I don't remember exactly, but I could have sworn it was something like I ah, get me some salt water or something from the bartender and it cost you like two or three gold coins. You see that? That's yeah, it's all a big reference to uh, the development of the game. What it, what what? Oh, I guess you can't. Oh. No, you cannot undo giant padlocks with eggs. Are you sure? Pretty sure. There are plenty of games where I'm sure you could do that before. Like... Mac MacGyver Simulator 2013? Yeah. That'd be a fun-ass game. This place is haunted. Mike, let's make MacGyver Simulator 2013. I forget what... Another one of these stupid puzzles? Do you forget what to do? I think, yeah, I guess he just... You spell out his name again. It's like, um, in Treasure Trove. Yeah. You're gonna run it... Did you reset the timer? There was no timer. Yeah, there was. Oh, I was... Was I looking at the fucking note count? Yeah, okay, here it is. Oh. I'm Tumblr. Sounds like a Masters of the Universe character. Ow. I can't even fucking... There we go. Okay. Fucker! You suck! It's hard to avoid Why is this shot glass a character? This is the weirdest level, and I love it. I... Like, you have a, a, a pumpkin that you transform into, and there's a shot glass character. There's a J. J is, I think, Probably at the bottom. Back, yeah. Oh, no, it's there. No. It's there, where you can see it. <laughs> I am all the helpful. K? Where's K? K is right there. Where you can also see it. I'm fucking John Madden of Banjo-Kazooie. Fuck. Always be watching. Z. You're gonna get hit. No, no, you're not. I'm gonna miss no. it though. I'm not gonna get it. Um. Yeah, I think you traveled across the board too much to get everything. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Just steal your fucking jiggy, then, motherfucker. Wait, actually, don't skip the text this time. I want to hear why Tumblr actually wants you to do something. Uh, 
Oh, did you just come in here to get the honeycomb? Yeah. Fucking. Huh. What? They're not all. Oh, dry bones! It's dry bones! Fuck this guy. Stop it! Oh, dry bones. Dry bones fucked you up. I know, I need to go. He got vengeance. <sighs> Fuck He is vengeance. He, he is, is the knight. knight. He is dry bones! The following. I don't think Batman ever got that hype. Yeah. All the hypes. He got pretty hype when his parents were shy. He was like, oh shit, son, that was fucking sick! <laughs> now I got all the money! Yo, I just got this big ass inheritance! That was actually. That's the. That's kind of the plot to Hush. Is uh, Bruce had a childhood friend Fuck. who was. Almost, I, I think, like, close yeah, to. Yeah, he's like an asshole. Rich. Yeah, and he. He did something. His parents got sick, and. Uh, Bruce's dad was a doctor, and he ended up saving uh, the kid's parents, Fuck. or one of his parents, so the kid couldn't collect his inheritance sooner, and he held a grudge against Bruce. Yeah, it's like, dude, I didn't fucking fuck you like that. That was my pop. Don't hate. I love everything about Hush except that part of the story. God damn it. Fucking notes. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, did you ever go back for a tumbler? No, I'm gonna do that after this. There's a couple things <laughs> I gotta get, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna do this stuff. 